Hi, I'm Bradley Barth, senior reporter with SC Media. I'm here today at the RSA conference in San Francisco with Michael Santonis. He is the chief technology officer at CrowdStrike, uh, CrowdStrike winner of best security company at the uh, SC Awards this year. Congratulations about that. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Now, it's actually been a pretty uh, wild uh, year uh, for CrowdStrike. If you're looking back at 2019, uh, company had the uh, a, a record-breaking IPO for the cyber industry. And then particularly notably, uh, the company stood firm after being subjected to a disinformation campaign regarding its role in investigating the DNC hack by Russia. Um, certainly a tumultuous time. How as a company do you overcome that? Is it still business as usual? Does it change anything about how you go about your business? Because um, it, it certainly uh, was a very eventful time. So, so how do you uh, just move on and, and do business as usual? Nothing's really changed for us. We, we focus on our customers, we focus on stopping breaches, uh, we focus on building what we believe is the best technology in the industry and staying firm to, to that mission. Uh, we say at CrowdStrike where, where our focus is purely to stop breaches for our customers and that's what we maintain and we continue to do, helping people through incidents, uh, helping people get access to our platform uh, and get the value out of our technology so we keep focused uh, purely on that. Well, keeping in that spirit then, uh, in just a short matter of time, in early March, uh, the CrowdStrike uh, Global uh, Threat uh, Report uh, is going to be out for 2020, and uh, some particularly uh, eye-opening and interesting findings from that report. Uh, if I might mention one, uh, it was pretty interesting to see that uh, what you define as uh, malware-free attacks was actually, uh, they surpassed uh, actual um, malware-based attacks, um, it was 51%, I believe, was uh, of the attacks that you registered uh, or observed were malware-free. Explain a little bit by uh, how you define that and what the significance of that is. Yeah, it's a, it's a huge change because we've been tracking this for a number of years now and it is the first year, to, as you mentioned in the Global Threat Report, that we're seeing malware-free techniques go uh, past malware-based techniques. So we're looking at attacks that, uh, techniques where you're living off the land, uh, script techniques, in memory attacks, fileless attacks, uh, which makes it hard for traditional security products to detect. And obviously the big rise in that is because adversaries are finding ways to circumnavigate traditional controls, next-gen AV products as an example, uh, and that's where we see a lot of issues that lead to a breach. Uh, we also look at things like dwell time, our services team have been tracking that for quite some time. So when you combine a growing number of malware-free techniques and an increasing dwell time, it leads to uh, pretty clear evidence that this problem is going to continue to grow because attackers are being successful uh, leveraging those techniques. Another point of emphasis from your report is China. Uh, China continues to be a, a major cyber adversary, uh, particularly uh, a, a player when it comes to um, theft of uh, intellectual property and uh, the new CrowdStrike report actually makes uh, a couple of observations about um, a certain increased activity that we might see on uh, China's part uh, in the coming year. Maybe you can explain a little bit about that. Yeah, we, we track a number of nation states. We go into the report, as you mentioned, to talk about China, uh, focus on cyber espionage. We have looked heavily at uh, an increasing focus on attacks, uh, focusing on the supply chain. Uh, specifically, we call out attacks, <coughs> excuse me, in telecommunication, and an increased focus there. Uh, so it's an area that we continue to look at because the, the theft of intellectual property is something that we need to uh, stop. Uh, we need to prevent, uh, whether it's targeting the U.S. or any other country. Uh, so it's an area of focus that we continue to have in the threat report. We go into a lot of detail. Uh, actually, just as of a couple of weeks ago, uh, you know, major news when the U.S. announced indictments against four members of the uh, Chinese People's Liberation Army uh, for the Equifax hack. And I wonder if uh, you and CrowdStrike have uh, any perspective on you know the significance and, and ramifications of uh, this particular uh, maneuver by the uh, the U.S. in uh, unleashing this indictment. Any attack, obviously, is an issue. Uh, this for me is particularly concerning because what it's demonstrating is that we've now got uh, a nation state that's focusing on getting US citizen data uh, and you can imagine to get that data is obviously uh, the goal would be to put pressure 
on, on certain people. Uh, so this is uh, an interesting development that is very, very troubling and concerning. So I think uh, we obviously will have to continue to follow that with the indictment. If this is uh, what is happening, it is a good step towards uh, demonstrating that this is not okay and it will be uh, addressed accordingly uh, through the law courts and uh, through government uh, action. All right, great. Well, that's Michael Santonis, CTO at CrowdStrike. I'm Bradley Barth, senior reporter with SE Media. Until next time, have a safe day online.